If you don't understand something in the religion, ask people who know more. And when they give you an answer, and you're not satisfied with their answer, you tell them, I am not satisfied with your answer. I need better understanding. You have the, not only the right to ask, you have the responsibility to ask. You have the responsibility to ask. When, um, when the ummah stops thinking, and when the ummah stops passing down the legacy of thinking, thinking, then the worst thing happens to the ummah. The worst thing. Then the next generation is Muslim only because their parents were Muslim. That is the worst thing that can happen to the ummah. Because then, the only reason that a child should hold on to Islam is because his parents were expecting it. You know, we're living in a day and age where families are very separated and children live a very independent life from their parents now. They go to college, they go to university, they get a job, they have their own life. Isn't that the case? And when they have their own life, you'll notice the vast majority of whether you're Buddhist or Hindu or Christian or Jewish or Muslim, it doesn't matter. You'll see most cases, the parents are religious and the children are what? They're not religious. And they say, well, when I used to live with my parents, they used to take me to church every week. My father used to take me to Jumu'ah every week. But now I don't live with my dad, I'm in college, I'm free. I don't have to go now. I don't have a reason anymore. The reason was my parents. And when they go back for vacation to their parents' house, then they go back to Jumu'ah again. And then they go back to college and they're free again. Isn't it? You know why this happens? Because we did not teach our children how to think about Islam for themselves. Why are they Muslim? Why must they accept Allah? Why must they accept the Qur'an? Why must they ask intelligent questions? Our religion is not a religion where you just accept with your eyes closed, we just follow it. No, 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 no. Ibrahim salam didn't even just ask people. Look at the legacy of Ibrahim salam. He even asked Allah, Rabbi arini kaifa tuhyil mawta. Master, show me how do you give life to the dead? How do you do that? He even asked Allah. And Allah asked him, Awalam tu'min, didn't you already have iman? Didn't you already believe? Qala bala walakin liyatma inna qalbi. No, that's because I want to satisfy my heart. Allah is teaching us through the legacy of Ibrahim alayhi salam that we should ask questions until we satisfy our heart, until the heart is at peace. You must explore, you must think, and we must inculcate thinking into our children. Unfortunately today, even religious education, Islamic education, is not about thinking anymore. Memorize these surahs, learn how to make wudu, here's the time to make salah, done. Your tajweed is good, done. Kids memorize Quran, that means he's already got a ticket to Jannah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. This child has memorized Quran, he's reciting Quran, but not for one day did he think about a single ayah of the Quran. How can that be? How can we be the religion? He's reciting afala ta'qilun wa la ya'qil. He's reciting why don't you think and he never thinks. You see the irony in that? You know? Mathalul ladhina kafaru ka mathal alladhi yan'iqu bima la yasma'u illa du'a'an wa nida'an. This kid is re- leading taraweeh, we're celebrating this child has memorized Qur'an, he's leading the prayer, and he's reciting the example of those who, when they hear the call of Allah, it's like they're hearing just the calls of animals, it doesn't make any sense to them. And he's reciting it, and he doesn't understand it. This is a tragedy. This is an absolute tragedy in this ummah. And it has to be undone, and this, this generation will have to undo it. Because wallah al azim you know what is attracting people towards atheism? What's attracting people away from religion? I believe in science, I don't believe in God. There's all these people now. Why? Because they say, well science, you get to think. In philosophy, you get to think. In atheism, you get to think. When religions don't want you to think, maybe other religions don't want you to think. Our religion, our religion is based, rooted in thinking. Download our mobile applications or register on our official website to get access to exclusive content. Links given in description of video.